Good morning, everyone. For Chef Adassa Patterson here. We're Chef Death Tips for you this morning. And it's a good fall day, a nice fall day here. Um, so as the seasons change, you know, we get the weather cooling off and we're thinking about different types of eating options. Um, now breakfast is one of my favorite meals. I mean, I love Austin, but breakfast is one of my favorite. Um, so I'm always thinking of fun stuff to do for breakfast. And so this one is like such um, jalapeno poppers, like breakfast jalapeno poppers. Um, now, of course, for kids, you know, you have like your sweet peppers, you know, your red and yellow peppers, like your sweet peppers. Um, and so they're great ways to have, you know, different serving sizes, you know, your bell peppers, like sweet bell peppers, and all different kinds of colors this time of year. In this area, this young we get peppers from white all the way to dark chocolate, you know, and all of the colors in between. Um, so one of the things that I've always stressed in my catering and um, my private chef type of work is to try and use as much red pepper as possible, especially as the weather cools off. Our bodies have different needs in a particular area, um, so you want to use local produce if you can. Um, but the red peppers have a tremendous amount of vitamin C more so than the orange even. And so it's a great thing to, to mix in as well as to stay so you get some, like, really get started with vitamin C into people. Um, and so that helps with their health and uh, in a way that's not too obvious, right? <laughs> so oh we're serving healthy food, but no we're serving good food that's nourishing for your body. Um, so one of the other things I want to point out just as a good advice um, measure is making your stuff in fine grain. Um, sometimes with a hash, you know, it's one of those super easy things. You don't have to put a lot of time into it. But you also want to make sure that it's a little bit more fine grain. Um, because it makes it a lot easier to stuff into your vegetables. and much neater and it sits in there and you can put your cheese on top without stuff falling all over the place. Right? So I'm going to show you what I mean. So you see that um, the onions and sweet pepper that I have here is small dice, you know, at least medium dice, but small dice. And the sausage, I grow up small, you start breaking up your ground meat early before it starts cooking through, and that way it gets much smaller, it's much easier to, uh, to manage and to manipulate. And then of course the scrambled eggs, same, same process. When it comes to protein, you start early in the cooking process. Um. So that's another thing. I think it kind of differentiates, you know, professional professional cooking from perhaps in the hobbies um, uh, type of approach because you're thinking of the how to refine things and how to present the food in an appealing way, and so you want to keep it as neat as possible. So I saw the finished product. <laughs> I'm gonna pop these into the peppers and then put the cheese on top, and it'll be nice. Have a good morning.